Welcome to Catalina Treats Gluten-Free Kitchen. I'm Jessie and it's Valentine's and we're doing a Valentine's collaboration with Justina's Country Kitchen. We're challenging other cooking channels to create a dish using brown rice, candy hearts, and passion fruit. I'll show you what I've created. We made absolutely delicious pork chops with passion pilaf and a candy heart glaze. <laughs> They turned out surprisingly well. <laughs> that passion fruit has a real kick to it. It's a very bright flavor. It was so fun to use this and try out a new ingredient. I'm starting with a little bit of olive oil in my skillet, warming it up and getting it ready for the pork chops. With the candy hearts, I'm gonna put them into a bowl with a little bit of broth. Putting the pork chops in just to brown a little bit. Put this pan to make the rice while the pork chops are cooking over here. So, I'm starting out with half a stick of butter. Linda Lakes comes in this little, nice little convenient butter. I've got the butter coating the pan and I've got some chopped up garlic and a chopped up onion. It's about half of an onion and about a cup of chopped celery. While that's cooking, I'm gonna add a little cilantro. And of course, some salt. I'm gonna salt these pork chops really quick. Adding in about a cup of chopped red bell pepper. See how they're doing? Yummy. They are doing good. Nice and brown. Just a little bit of color, which I wanted. I'm gonna add in one cup of shredded carrots. And here's the second Valentine's collaboration ingredient, passion fruit. This is chunks of passion fruit. I think it's just a juice. I don't know if it's the actual fruit, but I'm adding it into this mixture and I think it's just gonna kind of dissolve and it may have little chunks of fruit in it. Stir that up. It smells delicious. I'm gonna add in the chicken broth and the next Valentine challenge ingredient is the brown rice. And I've got the lid on the rice. I'm letting that cook for a while. My pork chops are doing good. So it is starting to boil. I'm actually gonna take the lid off and let it cook down. I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit on the pork chops because I do want a nice sear on the outside. Let's see how the candy hearts are doing. The candy hearts are not yet completely dissolved, so they're still working on it. <laughs> the conversation part is gone. Now they're just hearts. Turn the heat off, put the lid back on, and let that soak for a little bit. And soften up. Well, I finish up with the pork chops. Those look really good. So now I've got the pork chops out. I'm adding the candy hearts and the liquid of the candy hearts. I'm gonna add in a little bit more olive oil. I'm gonna add the pork chops over the top of the rice. I can set them all on there good. There we go. I'm gonna put the glaze over the top of the pork chops. And the candy hearts are still <laughs> almost intact. 
Now those are going to go in the oven 350 for about 15 minutes. Thanks for watching. Please watch all the other videos in the playlist. Please like our video, subscribe to our channel, and share this with your friends and family. We're always creating great new recipes at Catalina Treats Gluten-Free Kitchen.